In this feature, we're going to be able to take data from a report and put that directly into a document. Okay, for this uh, data, for this report, we have created an overview of all the opportunities. And uh, here I have some filters. Like you see, I only show my opportunities all time. And of course, yeah, all of these fields will be run exactly as they are in the reports. So let's get started. See how we can now get for, uh, go from a report into a document with the report data. So step one is we're going to create a new data source. So I'm on data sources. I'm going to say new data source. There is a new record type called reports. We select the report record type, and then we're going to give it a data source name. So um, I'm going to give it the, uh, um, or this one, I'm going to give it this name. Uh, okay, that's the name of my data source. Um, and then it's a type list of objects because there's going to be multiple records. And then we need the report API name. Okay. That's a little bit strange because in Lightning, I can't find out how, uh, to get the API name of a report. So if somebody knows, please, uh, uh DM me, send it, uh, send me the answer because I can't find it. And what I do here is just go to classic, go to report properties. Take the report unique name, so that's the API name of this report. I'm going to copy this, and then I'm going to paste this right here. So, okay, so that's my uh, API name of the report. That's actually it. Now I have my data source, and next step is uh, let's start configuring in PDF Better. I have made a very simple document, as you can see here. With my report data, I just want some information on the opportunities that I have in my report. And from that, I'm going to start setting up my doc config. So first step is I'm going to add this uh, document, which I have already done. Uh, and then we're going to add the data source. So it was, what was the name of the report again? Uh, demo report for getting data. Okay. And then I'm going to find it because as you can see, I have lots of reports here. And then I'm going to add this report. It immediately shows me all of the fields that are present in the report. If I add no fields into the report, you can just say reload from Salesforce and it will reload all of the fields that you might have added or removed from the report. And then they will show up here directly. Okay. All of the fields are of type text because yeah, that's how the report does. Apparently it just puts, uh, just shows you all of the text data that is uh, currently there. We don't need the, uh, um, classic view anymore. So I'm going to go back to the report in Lightning. And then we can see that we have the opportunity owner, the account name. And that's the same fields that we uh, see here. We have the account name, the opportunity name, and all the rest of the fields. Okay. That's my data source added. And now I just do the, the same thing in PDF Butler uh, that I normally do. I will take the, uh, oh, I will just copy a field and start doing some configuration. So first I need a table row, um, and then that's of type table row, and then the data source is of course this. So I will be fast forwarding this because everybody knows this kind of configuration. That's not a, a secret anymore, that's not difficult. That's a, let's do this field field, and then look at the results. So that's the opportunity name, and then this is the merge fields. Okay, then I'm gonna do an extra field. I'm gonna take the stage. That would be my configuration. I save the server. Okay, and now let's go for a test. For a test, what I have done is uh, I have actually just added the uh, the doc config directly here on the home page. And now I, if I run this, you will see it will take up all of my uh, data from the report and just show this in uh, in my documents. Okay, cool. That's uh, very nice, of course. But let's take a look at uh, see how I can actually and change stuff in the report, maybe add an extra filter into it, and then the uh, the resulting document will also change. Let's take a look. Let's go for, um, instead of saying all time, let me add a filter here. Um, and let's say probability is, uh, do, 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 do. 
no, not a probability, um, opportunity status, uh, closed one. Only the closed ones I want to see. So let's run this, save and run. See if there is anything that's closed one in this uh, report. Yes, there are 19. So now if I go back uh, to my document and I would rerun this, I would only see closed one opportunities. See, these are only the closed ones. Um, and now let's say that I only want to see opportunities that have a specific amount there. So let's go back to the to the report. I'm going to edit it. Add a filter on, let's say, the uh, amount field. The amount has to be uh, uh, greater than, let's say, 100,000. Okay, apply, save and run. Now, there's going to be less, only 10 records now. Let's rerun the report. Okay, and now hopefully I would see only 10 records. Yes, so the same filter as in my report, I can just show now in my documents. So that's how easy it is to actually set up uh, the report data and take that to use in your documents.